In this video, we will be taking a look at the Flex Max 60, 80, and 100 AFCI features, benefits, and best applications for each one. First up, the Flex Max 60 and 80. The FM6080 charge controllers were first introduced by Outback Power with innovative features such as built-in LCD screen. With its built-in screen, it allows users to program and monitor the controllers with no need for external monitoring devices and allows independent operation. Application versatility. Charge controllers have a selectable operating DC voltage of 12, 24, 36, 48, and 60, compatible with micro hydro, positive, and negative grounded systems. Low PV voltage acceptance. Both FM6080 may accept up to 150 volts DC, up to 4,000 watts for the FM80, and 3,200 watts for the FM60 of nameplate solar power at 48 volts DC. Thermal management. FM6080 charge controllers may provide its full rated power at 40 degrees Celsius ambient temperature. Next up, the Flex Max 100 AFCI. This charge controller was first introduced in 2018 and recently redesigned to meet new regulations with the arc fault detection and interruption feature. Here are some new exciting features. More power. The FM100 AFCI MPPT software algorithm has been improved for maximum harvest. Rated for 100 amps DC of battery charging and accepts up to 7,000 watts of nameplate solar power at 48 volts DC. High PV voltage acceptance. Controller may accept up to 300 volts DC, minimizing paralleled strings and balance of system costs. Compliance. The FM100 AFCI is fully NEC 2017 compliant with its innovative built-in arc fault detection and interruption and ground fault detection features. Application versatility. The FM100 is NEMA 3R rated so it can be installed in indoor or outdoor locations. There are selectable operating DC voltages of 24, 36, or 48 volts. Voltage sensing. The FM100 is equipped with battery sensing wires for accurate voltage monitoring. This prevents charging conflict in large stack systems. And of course, all controllers are compatible with Optics RE for monitoring and control, programmable auxiliary modes, and come with a standard five-year warranty. So why would you choose one over the other? The FM6080 charge controllers would be a good fit for smaller systems requiring 12 volt battery banks, such as cabins or mobile applications. With lower voltage and more parallel strings, this controller will be best for areas with shading issues. Or for telecommunication applications requiring positive grounding and a nominal voltage of 60 volts DC. The FM100 AFCI charge controllers will be a good fit for larger systems requiring higher PV voltage and maximum PV harvest. Areas that require NEC 2017 compliance, AFCI, and ground fault features. Or if the controllers need to be installed outdoors. Alrighty, thank you for watching.